And we're back here on Most Buffalo. You know, if someone told you one of the funniest things to hit the internet in 2020 would involve a woman lip syncing a press briefing with the governor, you might have been skeptical at best. But Maria Dakotas has quickly made a name for herself doing exactly that. She zoomed in with me to talk about how it all unfolded. I have to say, it's funny to see your face and hear your actual voice. Yeah, I know, right? Because you just hear Cuomo's voice. <laughs> On a personal point, I have my daughter Mariah who is with me, and she is the third daughter for me. The last thing they want to do is hang out with Pop, right? And Mariah brought her boyfriend, who's also here. Brooklyn-based comedian Maria Dakotas was used to doing live shows and stand-up, but when coronavirus came along, she told me she had a really hard time finding anything funny or any reason to be creative. I like the boyfriend. And then inspiration came in the form of a small moment at one of Governor Andrew Cuomo's daily briefings. And then I was watching the one on April 19th, which is the famous one where he went on the tangent about the boyfriend, and I was just, I mean... I couldn't take my eyes off of him because he just kept going and going. And I was like, when is he going to stop talking about the boyfriend? He really is just going to keep going. And I just thought it was so funny. And it, it was this moment of um, familiarity for me just because I come from an Italian family and I kind of know the, the rambling father. <laughs> and so I wanted to do something with that. But I wasn't sure if I should write something new or um, heighten it, but it's already so funny on its own. Advice to fathers. Uh, the answer on what you think of the boyfriend is always, I like the boyfriend, always. Following comedian Sarah Cooper's lip sync lead. And I think you said that has him in check, but you're going to test it. Maria made a video made herself laugh again, and then she posted the video and discovered it made other people laugh too. When I cook it, they just... A lot of other people. Then when Stephen Colbert retweeted it, I was just, I couldn't believe that was happening because he's such a comedy hero and every comedian wants to work on his show. So uh, that was really exciting and just kind of mind blowing. I was also interested to find out that you have since heard finally from the governor himself. Yes, so on Memorial Day weekend, I did hear from him, and the response was positive. So I was happy about that. Yes. Is that all you're allowed to say about it? I mean, I'm not sure what I am allowed to say, but I guess that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> the governor's quirky peeks into the Cuomo family dynamic. My daughters are getting tired of my jokes believe it or not. Continue to inspire Maria, giving her and her ever-growing legion of fans something they really need right now. And it's more than a really good laugh. I felt useful again, and I felt like I had a purpose, and I had, um, I had a, uh, a goal in, in serving humanity during this time as a comedian, because I'm not an essential worker, I'm not a nurse or a doctor, and they're working so hard, and they're doing so much for all of us to protect all of us and um so this is kind of my way to take care of people during this time i guess that's all i can ask she's just the sweetest so nice and so funny and you can imagine you know we had such a great chat even yeah. just about the time that goes into making those videos. I know a little something about that. So it was just great to talk to her and, and she's just super funny and I'm, and I'm excited for her success as well.